Hello and welcome to MATLAB Programming for Numerical Computations. We are in the second half of Module 3. In this part, we are going to cover numerical integration. In today's lecture, we are going to cover a range of integration formulae known as Newton Coates integration formulae. Numerical integration is primarily just finding area under a curve. For example, if a curve is f of x, then integral f of x dx from a to b is nothing but this shaded area that you can see between the points a and b lying below this curve. So if we were to use trapezoidal rule for this particular example, what trapezoidal rule amounts to is calculating the area under this trapezoid. The trapezoid is formed by joining the, do the dots f of a with f of b. As you can see in this cartoon over here, uh, if we apply a single application of the trapezoidal rule, we are going to be fairly inaccurate. The results are not going to uh, uh, match closely the actual values of integral. So trapezoidal rule basically, uh, uh, as we said, is just joining a two dots with a straight line and finding the area under that. Instead, we can take three points, the point over here, the point over here and the midpoint, join them, three points we can join with a second order curve and the area under that curve is going to give us what is known as Simpson's one-third rule. So Simpson's one-third rule is obtained by joining point A, point B and the midpoint between A and B. These three points are joined by a curve and what we obtain is known as the Simpson's one-third rule. So the step size h in Simpson's one-third rule single application is half of that of the trapezoidal rule. The next in Newton Coates formula can be obtained by kind of connecting four points within this region. So if I just go back, so we had in trapezoidal rule these two points, in Simpson's one-third rule one more point at the center. In Simpson's three-eighths rule, what we will have is these two points and then two more points that are equally spaced. So if we take this point, if we take the next point at h by 3, the third point at 2 h by 3 and the fourth point at, at this guy, okay, and if we were to connect all of these through a smooth third order curve, the area under that curve will give us Simpson's 3 8 rule. In a single application of Simpson's 3 8 rule, the step size h is going to be b minus a divided by 3. So the step size in Simpson's single application of Sim Simpson's 3 8 rule is one third of the step size that we use in the trapezoidal rule. We can of course have higher order formulae. So instead of four points, if we were to have five points and connect them with a fourth order curve, six points connecting uh, connecting them with a fifth order curve, so on and so forth will give us higher and higher order Newton Coates formulae. Okay, so the trapezoidal rule integral from a to a plus h of f of x dx is going to be h by 2 f of a plus f of a plus h. What this means is it's an area under this trapezoid so it's this height multiplied by uh, this height plus this height multiplied by this base divided by 2. That's what the area under a trapezoid is. The Simpson's one-third rule is given over here is h by 3 multiplied by function value f of a plus 4 times f of a plus h plus f of a plus 2h. That's what the one-third rule is going to give us f of a plus 4 times f of a plus h plus 1 times f of a plus 2h. The whole thing multiplied by h by 3 will give us the Simpson's one-third rule. And Simpson's 3 8 rule, for the sake of completeness, I'm just showing over here. We won't cover Simpson's 3 8 rule in this lecture. So these are the Newton Sports integral for integration formulae. To summarize the formulae and the local truncation errors, the trapezoidal rule the formula is this. The local truncation error is the h to the power 3. So the trapezoidal rule from the local truncation error, single application of trapezoidal rule is h to the power 3 accurate. Single application of Simpson's one-third rule is h to the power 5 accurate. So it's significantly more accurate than the trapezoidal rule. Simpson's 3 8 rule is also h to the power 5 accurate. As a result of this, usually Simpson's one-third rule is more popular than Simpson's three-eighths rule 
and for the simplicity of application, the trapezoidal rule is also very popular. Let's take up an example and solve that in MATLAB. The theoretical aspects of this were covered in module 6 of computational techniques. Specifically in module 6 part 3, what we are going to focus on is we are going to calculate integral from 1 to 2 f of x fx dx using the trapezoidal rule and the Simpsons one third rule. Integral for this f of x is given over here. So let's go to MATLAB okay, and do this problem. <coughs> edit num integral of Newton codes formula. f of x equal to okay. So let's say a equal to 1, b equal to 2. trapezoidal rule one third rule <coughs> true val is going to be equal to x minus x square by 2 multiplied by x ln x so b minus b squared by 2 plus b multiplied by ln b b multiplied by log b if you recall log is gives the natural logarithm so you can do help log if we wanted log to the base 10 instead we would use the command log 10 okay so this minus a minus a squared by 2 plus a into log a that's going to be our true value. Okay, so for trapezoidal rule, single application, H is going to be nothing but B minus A. Okay, I trap is going to be equal to, let me just put underscore over here i trap is going to be equal to h by 2 multiplied by f a plus f a plus h equal to h by 2 multiplied f a plus f b and we need to put this inside a bracket okay where f a is nothing but 2 minus x plus ln x calculated at a. So it's 2 minus a plus log a. Okay, and fb is nothing but 2 minus b plus log b. Okay, so let's save this. Err trap equal to abs rural minus i trap okay let's uncomment both of these save this and let's run this and see what results we get whether we get an error or we get the results so let's run this it runs properly and the error is of the order of 0 0.04 so this error is quite substantial as we had seen in the cartoon over here the single application of trapezoidal rule sometimes can be very very inaccurate okay so the so single application of so as we have seen over here the true val of the integral is 0 0.8863 whereas the approximate val from trapezoidal rule is 0 0.8466 yeah so let's go over here what we want to do is something that we had done earlier in the previous lecture. Uh, what we want to do is instead of calculating uh, the function values in line like this, we want to give a different function to calculate f of x. Okay, so let's create a new function called my my fun integral. So function f val equal to my 
1 int x f val equal to 2 minus x plus ln x 2 minus x plus log of x n and we save this as my fun int and f a is nothing but my fun int a and this guy is nothing but my fun int b okay we save this and run this and see what we get we should get if everything runs fine we should get the same values as before and that's exactly what we get the error in trapezoidal rule is 0 0.04 and the integral value is 0 0.8847 that's exactly what we had got earlier okay in simpson's rule h is b minus a divided by 2 that's what h is going to be okay and i sim is going to be h by 3 multiplied by f1 so f a plus 4 times f a plus h plus f a plus 2 h or we can say f1 plus 4 times f2 plus f3 so let's just do that f1 plus 4 times f2 plus f3 right okay what is f1 f1 is nothing but function f calculated at a what is this guy f calculated at a plus h and this guy is f calculated at a plus 2 multiplied by h okay okay what is the name of the functions that that, that we created the name of the function that we created is my fun int so let me just replace this with my fun int again f i will replace with my fun int and this f also i will replace with my fun int okay that will give me i sim and err sim is nothing but abs true val minus i sim display results and we should be able to get the results more easily so the errors using trapezoidal rule is 0 0.04 but the error using simpson's one third rule is about 4.5 into 10 to the power minus 4 so as you can see the simpson's one third rule is significantly more accurate than the trapezoidal rule okay so this is what we have seen the lte in simpson's one third rule is h to the power 5 whereas the local truncation error in trapezoidal rule is h to the power 3 okay and therefore in this particular example it turns out that the simpson's one third rule is uh, gives better results than uh, the trapezoidal rule okay so next what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this trapezoidal rule and i'm going to calculate the value of trapezoidal rule the integral using the trapezoidal rule for different values of h so we'll start with f of a okay and f of a plus h uh, we will calculate this for different values of h that means f b will be calculated for different values of h again we are restricting ourselves to single application so let's go to this num, num integral drop down the save and click on save as num integral 2 i will call this okay we don't want simpson's one third rule a is going to be this h is going to be 1 and b is going to be a plus h okay and this is going to be our true van we don't need this now what i'm going to show is let's say we have this particular code snippet of code over here how we can make this code a bit more streamlined you have this fa over here okay we can just delete this fa and replace it with what existed over here so just highlight it and drag and drop okay same thing over here for fb also delete fb highlight this part drag and drop over here delete these two guys okay so let's save this let's clear all clc 
and let's run this for h equal to 1 okay the error err trap that we get is 4 into 10 to the power minus 2 okay i will uncomment this part okay now let us decrease h by one order of magnitude and take our h to be 0 0.1 okay our trapezoidal rule is h to the power 3 accurate what that means is decreasing h by 10 we should decrease the error by 1000 so the error should decrease by a factor of 10 to the power minus 3 so let's run and see what the error we get now by running this you can see that the error has dropped from 4e minus 2 to 7e minus 5 so this this is an almost three orders of magnitude this is actually a three orders of magnitude drop let's drop this further to 0 0.01 and let's run and see what we get when we run this we further see a three orders of magnitude decrease in the error let's drop let's drop this even further and see what we get save and we will see three more orders of magnitude decrease in the error error went from 8.2 e minus 8 to 8.3 e minus 11 so as we decrease the step size by a factor of 10 the error improves by a factor of 1000 the error goes down by a factor of 1000 and that is because trapezoidal rule is h to the power 3 accurate so this particular slide itself summarizes what we have covered in the lecture today. What we have covered is trapezoidal rule and Simpson's one third rule. What we have seen is trapezoidal rule is h to the power 3 accurate. What you may want to test uh, as a practice problem is to verify that Simpson's one third rule is h to the power 5 accurate. I am not going to do that in the video lectures because it simply follows the same procedure that we have done with the, uh, with the trapezoidal rule. Okay? And with that, I come to the end of this lecture. This brings us to the end of lecture 3.4 and I will see you in the next lecture. Thanks and bye.